So you decide to make your system water cold. But there's a question why you want to do that. And this will be part two of our complete water cooling tutorial. So there's a few reasons why people go water cooling. Besides the fact that it's really exciting and challenging hobby and it's uh, much more fun than assembling computer itself because now it's so simple it's almost like a Lego uh, you just connect all electronic parts together screw them to your case and that's it so it, it's it's not challenging enough for many people uh, so if you decide to go into that that will be really interesting for you or at least could be very interesting for you but besides uh, the hobby part uh, people go into water cooling mostly for two reasons reason one uh, people get annoyed with the amount of uh, noise uh, modern system produced so if you have a high-end uh, you know graphical cards uh, and maybe not one so fans can be really annoyingly noisy and the current case is also coming with uh, uh, multiple fans in different areas like this Corsair 800D case you have uh, one fan for the your uh, hard drives and uh, another one for the bottom portion of the case and on the back so um, it's each fan adds to the noise and um, some people say okay how I can make my system run more silent and the fact that water cooling as a way of cooling your system is more efficient you actually can have less fans at lower speeds and uh, bring your noise level down and this is a fair share of people who are doing water cooling to achieve this target Another group of people actually looking for achieve maximum performance out of your um, computer. There's just as much as you can do with uh, air coolers. And at a certain point you hit a wall and can't go any further because your system get overheated and uh, there's only as much heat you can take away with uh, traditional heat sinks and fans. So next level uh, to improve your cooling performance actually is a water cooling. And it's more efficient, you can reach lower temperatures and for that reason you can reach higher overclocks. And when you want overclocks, um, again there's a variety of reasons. Most people think that uh, uh, people who do overclocking, they're mostly gamers. In fact, it's not true. Most of people who do overclocking actually donate their computer power for the cause. Like folding at home, um, looking for other life in a galaxy. So there's a lot of reason why, com why people run computers really fast. And it's not always gaming. For many people it's actually a mix. So anyways, um, that's why you want water cooling. You either want system run quiet and cool or you want extreme performance and you're not ready yet for even more efficient systems like liquid nitrogen and uh, phased cooling and um, other stuff which is more complex than water cooling so that's the answer to this question and uh, hopefully you can define which group you belong to and uh, that will define what kind of equipment you want because quietness and performance and two opposite sides of the spectrum and that will define slightly different equipment for your setup and we will discuss it when we go into technical details how to pick up, pick up your components 